Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a fall golden hour effect using SleekLens.com brushes and presets in Adobe Lightroom. Uh, it's going to be really quick and simple, easy effect and I'm going to show it on two different types of photos. But before we get started, this, this tutorial was actually suggested by uh, tons of people over at the SleekLens members group page that you can find on Facebook by going to Facebook.com slash groups slash SleekLens members club or you can just go to Facebook and type in Sleek Lens Members Club in the search bar and it'll be one of the first options there. Uh, so if you want to suggest videos like these and many others, uh, become a member of that group and uh, and participate in the polls that we do. Alright, so to get started here, we got two types of photos. I got a kind of a landscape photo here and also I have a uh, portrait down here. Uh, but I'm going to start on the landscape one just to show you what how easy this can be. And so uh, the the... the preset pack that I'm going to use uh, quite fittingly is the through the woods presets and all I'm going to do is apply one preset and that is it and it's uh, appropriately named uh, color autumn colors and when I click that you can see it changes to this type of photo everything's all warm uh, reds are popping out greens are changed a little bit to, to a more yellow and uh, it's just a really warm photo now some people's photos like like this one might turn out a little bit too red and uh, what, what's really great about this is you can change one slider and it'll turn out really really awesome so I have the yellow slider and so I'm gonna just bump that down a little bit and you can see it kind of go kind of go away right there. The the reds and the yellows kind of get a little bit more less saturated. I can do the same thing with the oranges. I can take those down a little bit, and you can just see how that how that looks. It looks really kind of cool there. And so the only other thing I'm going to do is apply a brush. And so I'm going to click over here to my brushes, and I'm going to choose the Chasing Light Haze golden brush so I'm just gonna click on that and as you can see my brush size is pretty large and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna enhance the Sun by just clicking on top of the Sun so I'm gonna click on that once and you can see it kinda of makes a little bit of effect there but now I'm gonna take the exposure up just a little bit more and all it does is just enhance the Sun I can even take the temperature up a little bit to warm it up if I wanted to uh, and just click done and that is it that is our golden hour effect in uh, in a landscape photo so you can see the before and after here just how different and how how much of a realistic photo that was that was taken. That the the photo on the left was probably taken, you know, kind of kind of around sunset, um, but it definitely doesn't look like it's in in the middle of fall or autumn. Uh, but the one on the right is, is definitely uh, definitely has that effect and it pulls it off really well. So for the next photo is a portrait photo. Uh, I'm going to jump back to here to the original photo here. And the same thing I'm going to do to this one is what I did to the last one. All I'm going to do is apply the uh, same preset and it is the through the woods base color autumn colors and you can see there now this one pops out the reds a whole lot more than the other ones and so this is the one we were gonna take it down here so I'm gonna click again on my uh, color panel here I'm gonna click on oranges and I'm gonna take the oranges down and now you can see it kinda mellows it out a little bit and it looks really great and I'm, what I'm gonna do uh, with this one in particular is just because there's a whole lot of white going on I'm gonna do less highlights and that just subdues it a little bit uh, and I can even take the same brush if I wanted to and kind of kind of fake it over here a little bit make a uh, make a kind of a Sun effect going on over this way just to just to give it a little more pop um, but I don't really have to with this photo it just turned out really great as it was uh, the the main things to help sell this photo are obviously you need to have it look like autumn so it can't be uh, you know perfectly green everywhere so just make sure you have leaves on the ground uh, for this particular photo on the on the right here the landscape photo uh, even though I do have greens I can actually go to my uh, my yellows on my, on my color panel and I can change the greens a little bit just to kind of help fake it so you can see how I'm going more towards a green area over here I can do the same thing by going on the opposite side just making it more warm uh, same thing with the oranges and the and the yellows here I can just kind of do the same thing to that so uh, applying that effect gives all the global effects but just do a little fine tuning and you'll have a great great autumn looking photo so I hope you guys enjoyed that quick tutorial thank you for all of those who suggested this tutorial on the sleeklens.com members group page on Facebook uh, this is Jordan from sleeklens.com and I'll see you in the next video